Hello, Team B42 and Twitch streamers. Ben to 42 here with another educational video for you. I'll make this one as quick as I can, guys. Twitch analytics page. You should be using it. This is some basics on how to use it. You should be looking at this a lot. A lot of information here, okay? A lot of information that you could use. So check it out. I'm on my analytics page right here. I'm looking from the month from April 1st to April 30th. That's a 30-day span. If you want to change this, I highly recommend you look at it on a broader scale. So you could go all the way back. If I want to set this up, I could go back to the beginning of time. And this is my very first stream, guys. It's going to update that right there. It's going to update it for me on a broader scale. So all the way from the August 9th, 2017 to April 30th, 2018, we are looking at my average viewers. And we could get the average viewers for all those months right there. It's 42. And you could see every single day streamed in here. And you could see what kind of happened. Obviously, here we got a huge host from somebody, right? Uh, you know, we should be looking at this data. We should be utilizing this data to kind of go off of what we do next right how we could improve your data should skew to the right so we want to see growth and if we want to see growth it should be skewing to the right and if the most important thing is if it's not skewing to the right we figure out why it's not and uh, understanding why is the most one of the most important things so let's bring it back to the month of april we're going to do whoops we're going to do a 30 day uh time span here okay we're going to go from april 1st to april 30th 2018 we're going to take a look at this data here guys so you could always change this data up here right i'm looking at my average viewers down here you want to look at followers you click that you can look at followers this is for the month of april pretty much remember you could pick any month right as long as you use this data to the to your advantage this is very important data especially if you're pushing for partner or affiliate guys it's important to understand what's happening here so for this whole month i had 79 of viewer average here okay you got to understand the 30 days when you're going for your achievements, it does it does roll over into the next month. So I may I see this mistake a lot. People think that at you know at the end of the month it resets for another 30 days. No, 30 days means 30 days. In other words, if I'm looking at Monday, April 2nd, that will roll over all the way until uh, May 2nd, and that's when that that's when that day is going to be erased from that average. Right. Same thing when I go to April 6th, Friday, 75 viewer average that day. That will roll over until May 6th. Then that day will be erased into the average. Guys, you got to understand how averages are calculated. It's not that, not that tricky. But the main thing I want you guys to get here, you know, if you're pushing for partner or affiliate, you know, sometimes it's to your advantage to have a few days erased. Take this day for example, Saturday, April 22nd. Not a great average for me on that on that day. 47 uh, viewer average. Be better to have that day erased from that average. It's going to boost your average up. On the other hand, to have this one erased to 140, that would not be good for me on that month anyway. But you could really look at this information up here. Notice the followers are less than the last month, right? They're comparing it to the last 30 days, right? The 30 days prior to this one. I got uh, 740 on this month, and it's less than it was last time. Well, why is that less? That's the that's a question I want you guys to ask. Why you know why was the new followers less? We had, new, we had more average viewers. We had less followers. We had more live views, though. We had less minutes watched. We had less time stream. So that's a big thing, too. Did you have less time stream? That could account for why we had less followers that month. It could. But I just want you guys kind of thinking of that stuff. Remember, you could change everything up. You could, you could check your revenue, subscriptions, all that good stuff in there. And it's really important that you do to continue to grow. And if you're not continuing to grow... You're kind of stagnating a little bit. We got to figure out why. That's the thing. That's the greatest thing that you can improve. And th this information helps you improve, guys. So if you're not looking at this, that was just a little touch, not to bore you guys. That was a little touch of what the analytics page is and how you could use it to your advantage. Remember, it's in your dashboard. I highly recommend you play with it. And it really just takes you manipulating the numbers and stuff and trying to figure out uh, what you can do better, why you want, maybe why you aren't improving or why you've had big success as well. If you are improving, you got to understand why. So I hope this information helped you a little bit. I hope you start using that analytics page. Guys, thank you so much. We'll see you later.